It's not a cure for juvenile diabetes, but many parents are calling the bionic pancreas the next best thing. And now a North Texas six year old is helping perfect it. CBS 11's Robbie Owens has the story from Grapevine. <laughs> At six, Elise Cunha is an adorable, happy little girl. <laughs> But keeping her healthy is a 24-7 affair. At around 11 or midnight, and then we check her again at 3 a.m. Um, and that's those are just two checks, assuming everything is good. So if things are not good, there's many more checks throughout the night. Just days after her first birthday, Elise was diagnosed as a type 1 diabetic. What I knew about diabetes scared me, and she was a, a baby. So I was thinking, how... How am I going to do this? One of us would hold her down, the other one, you know, while she screamed, and the other one would give her the shots. It was, uh, luckily she doesn't remember that. <laughs> the diagnosis turned the Cunhas into instant activists, mobilizing teens around the world right. for fundraising walks. It's sometimes hard and not fair. I just don't like diabetes. So the brave six-year-old will soon take part in clinical trials for what's being called the next best thing to a cure, the bionic pancreas. This is a game changer. The revolutionary device not only monitors blood sugar levels, but automatically dispenses the correct amount of insulin when sugar levels are too high or glucagon when levels are too low. I got to hold it. I got to see it actually work. There's all these things that we have to, to think about, and then the bionic pancreas basically just does all the thinking for you. Elise will participate in the trial during a two-week stay at a camp for diabetic kids. And while mom admits to more than a little separation anxiety, She's letting her go now in the hope that her burden will be lighter when she has to let her go for good. It is all on them to take care of themselves, and it is exhausting. I mean, it is exhausting, and if we can take some of that away from her where it's not such a burden, that would mean, I mean, that would mean everything to me. In Grapevine, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News. The family of a six-year-old diabetic girl says she's doing great in a first-of-its-kind clinical trial. We introduce you to Elise Cunha on Friday. Doctors have now fitted her with something they call a bionic pancreas. Helps control her type 1 diabetes. She is participating in this clinical trial. Some doctors are already calling this the next best thing to a cure. It's a bionic pancreas. It will test and maintain her blood sugar levels without any fingerprints, uh, finger pricks or any shock, uh, shots whatsoever. North Texas girl takes part in a medical trial and gets the chance to use a device her family firmly believes will one day change lives. CBS 11's Robbie Owens has the story that's all new at 6. I love Boston. For a too short while this summer, six-year-old Elise Cunha got to be a kid. Not just the kind that gets to swim and play, <laughs> but the kind that gets to eat her food without weighing it or worrying about it. The kind that gets to eat Oreos. <laughs> Oreos were, were a big one. We met the Cunhas last month as Elise was heading off to a special camp for diabetic kids. Two, one, go biotic! While there, she became the youngest child in the country to take part in a clinical trial for a device called the bionic pancreas. There was no weighing of food and no trying to figure out how many carbs she had. It just, it just works. The bionic pancreas checks blood sugar levels every five minutes and transmits the information to a special iPhone app. The app figures out if the user needs insulin to lower blood sugar levels or glucagon to raise it, and it's administered automatically through an injection site. To see the number, her numbers when she was wearing the bionic pancreas and the numbers when she was wearing her own pump was night and day. It was incredible. Diagnosed shortly after her first birthday, Elise already wears a glucose monitor. Still, keeping her healthy requires round-the-clock care. At around 11 or midnight, and then we check her again at 3 a.m. Um, and that's those are just two checks, assuming everything is good. So if things are not good, there's many more checks throughout the night. For thousands of type 1 diabetics and their parents, the Cunhas say the bionic pancreas promises more sleep and less worry. It's happening. It's happening. In Grapevine, Robbie Owens, CBS 11 News.